Hello crafty friends. I thought I'd come on today and share with you two orders that I received this week in the mail. I've been doing some clearance shopping since I'm not able to get out to the stores right now and I found some very uh, fun finds I thought I'd share with you. First I went to the Sizzix website and shopped their clearance section and I got this die set here and the main thing that drew me to this set was the banner and then also the ticket. I have a feeling I'll be able to get a lot of use out of these. And here they are. They're a good size. Um, if you can see in my hand, the banner is a great size. And the ticket is nice and long, so you'll be able to fit uh, words on it as well as images. And the name of this set is, I'm not sure. I don't know the name of this set. I can't seem to find it. But it was under $10, so I thought that was a great deal. I also got myself the Tim Holtz rosette die. And it is a very long die. Um, which makes rosettes, and it has the instructions on the back. So I have a feeling this will be very useful. I hope it uh, fits in my die cutting machine, because I only have a cuddle bug. So it's not this long, but I have a feeling I'll be able to make it work. Then there were some stickers that were on sale that were only a dollar a pack. And this pack of stickers has three sheets in it. And I just loved the soft pastel colors and the cute uh, phrases. As well as this sticker pack, which has two sheets. And I think that a panda bear is adorable. And then the fruit. And the pineapple, the bicycle, I just thought they were great. So you may want to go on over to the Sizzix website and check out their clearance section because there are a ton of great finds. Next, I went over to the Spellbinders website and I um, made a few orders from their clearance section. Um, it appears that they had a ton of fun Stamper's Journey items and so I snagged a few up. I got this little mini stamp set which I think is adorable and it is red rubber and I'm planning on sending this one to a friend. It was only $2.50 so that was a great deal. This adorable little sticky notepad and it was only a dollar, so I had to snag it up because I figured I could use it to write notes on or even as ephemera on cards. And then I also got this gel pen set. And um, I do a lot of adult coloring, so I thought these would be great for that. And here are all the colors. It was only $4.50. And I think that's a great deal for 12 pins. And they're so cute. They've got a little gemstone on the top of each pin. I thought that was a cute touch. And the case is great, too. Nice to use for other storage when um, I'm done using the pins up. So that was a great buy. And then I also purchased myself one of the grab bags that they had last week on sale. And the bags were $10 and it was just a mixed set of embellishments. And I thought I would share with you all that I got. And remember, this bag was only $10. So it was a deal too good to pass up. I got some sweet berry ribbon, and that's 20 yards, 
and it's like a gross grain ribbon. I also got the lavender frost gingham ribbon, 15 yards in that roll. So a lot of ribbon on each roll. These adorable puppy stickers called Frosted Friends. And I have a feeling these would work, work great with all of my snow and cocoa Christmas collection. I got this Christmas set of embellishments and it has some chipboard and buttons and flags. And this collection is called Holiday Mix and Match. There's 25 pieces in here. Some green glittered buttons, like a tin button, chipboard, banners, cute little set. And also Tropical Sunset stickers. And these are layered stickers. And then there's the paper clip banners, which I thought were cute. I'm sure I'll get good use out of these this summer. I got this pack of ribbon, and it is the boho trim. You get how much of each? One yard of each. So there's the gold glitter, some jute trim, some lace. I love the la uh, leaf trim. And then some pink velvet. And this little package of little mini wooden spools. And please excuse my dogs. I got these trendy gems. And they are like a um, iridescent rainbow in all different shapes. There's 25 of these. This flower pack called Vintage Burst, and they are like a burlap flower, and they have glitter and sparkle on them, uh, pearls on the inside. I love the script flowers. And then the leaf, the leaf sprig. So these will be gorgeous on a vintage project. A pack of washi tape. And this collection's called Girl's Life. And it's like a pinkish purple glitter trim. And then two rolls that have girly sayings on them. And then the last item for this grab bag was the Fam Bam Elements. And these are paper clips. And they're in the shape of little airplanes, cars, and people. And so they are so cute. And it does not tell me. Oh, you get 24 clips in this package. So I got all of that for $10. And I thought that was a deal too good to pass up. So I'm not sure if the grab bags are still available on the Spellbinders website. But it's definitely worth going and checking out. For all the goodies that you get for a great price. I'm sure I'll have fun creating with these over the next few days while stuck at home. I plan to start trying to make as many cards as I can over the next week or so for the nurses at my local hospital. My sister-in-law works in the OR and I do plan to send her a big stack of cards to hand out to her nurse friends to thank them during this hard time for all the hard work they are doing to help save lives. If you are looking for a resource to send cards to to thank nurses and doctors, please reach out to me. And I'd be happy to send you my address so that I can pass your cards along to my sister-in-law as well. I hope you are all finding time to create, to relieve some stress, 
during this hard time. I hope that you and your family and friends are all safe and healthy. And I will see you all in my next video. Have a great day.